I will talk now about um, something that happened yesterday, an incident that I'm not proud of. I didn't catch myself, but I'll relate it, shame and all. So we have a, here in Huntington Beach, we have a, I'm sure it's going on all over the place, we have a bit of a, a circumstance happening with the advent of e-bikes. Um, this is a bicycle community, for sure. Um, and in the past, uh, teenagers would get around on pedal-driven bicycles. But now with e-bikes, they're getting around on electrically. And California lifted the regulation some time back about the speed control. So they're fast. They move like motorcycles. And the boys in particular are very reckless. Although the girls are too. I saw two girls out in front of the house yesterday doing stuff. Um, and now I'm not faulting them for being youths. They're, that's what they do. I would, Yumiko tells me all the time, she said, wouldn't you do the same if you were their age? And I would. So what they're doing is they're riding their bicycle or e-bikes very recklessly. High speeds in the middle of the street, blowing through stop signs, blowing through lights. Um, the boys just tra traips down the road doing wheelies um, all day long, all over the place. Now this is a fact, and the city of Huntington Beach has passed some new regulations just recently that give empower the police to make safety stops, to issue citations um, with, a, with a fine, I think it's up like $400, and to impound bikes as well. The main purpose of the impounding is to get the parents to come in to t so that they have to get the bikes back and so the police can talk to the parents. Um, and what's happening also on the community is that there are in the community, the Facebook forum here uh, for, the, for Huntington Beach, I'm seeing lots of people posting video clips or photos of, their, of teenagers to kind of bring it to the attention, you know, and, and so the parents can see this. Very mixed reactions on that one. There's, you know, there's the, whole par there's the whole spectrum of some people think that you're doing a community service and doing that. Other people say that you're a narc, you know, and everything in between. It's an interesting thing, and for the most part, I'm taking it back. I'm just sitting back and watching. I mean, my, my kid has grown and gone. I'm, I'm an old guy. I just watch. But yesterday, something, two things intersected. One, I've also been totally unrelated. I'm experiencing a resurgence in my YouTube channel due to shorts, which I've recently discovered, and I've been making like three shorts a day. So, in fact, I forgot to add that to the list. 14 shorts times three. I've been adding three shorts a, a day to my channel, and boy, it's having an effect because these are old content from the Japan days. It's being focused back into the channel, fed back in, and it's my subscriber base is shooting through the roof. My views are through the roof. Everything's up. Um, monetization, the amount that's coming in every month is rising as well. It's a positive thing. I look at this as seeding the channel ahead of my arrival back in Japan when I'll be able to add fresh new content and high resolution totally different thing. Anyway, so what I've discovered is that shorts are popular and I'm looking for opportunities to capture shorts. Yesterday, as I went off to, here's the, now I get into the point. Yesterday, as I went off to the beach to do my ocean swim, uh, swim suit and towel in the back of the car, driving along, I took a left out of the apartment complex and right, be, right in front of me was a group of uh, four boys on electric bikes and uh, a pair of girls on another electric bike. The girls were hanging behind. They weren't doing any antics. Um, usually the girls don't. Um, they will go fast though sometimes. But the boys were all over the place. It, I couldn't get past. They were in the center of the road doing wheelies and they were enjoying it. And they were looking back at me and they were clearly not making way. Um, they were going pretty fast so I didn't have to go too slow but not as fast as a car because they were doing all kinds of antics. Oncoming cars were coming the other way. The boys are getting close to those oncoming. I mean, it was a three-ring circus. I did a bad thing. Hindsight, I should have known better. I'm ashamed of myself. It was stupid. I made myself just as much a nuisance as they did by what I did. I'm part of my telling you this is to shame myself so that I make sure I don't do this again. My phone was right there on the cradle. I simply reached over and I grabbed it, turned on the camera, and as I was driving, I held up the camera, and I was videotaping what they were doing. 
without really thinking too much about just why I was doing that. I thought it was interesting. There was a mixture in me of boys will be boys. This is interesting. Wow, look at those wheelies. That's pretty good. I think another part of me was thinking, wow, I could make this into a short, stupid idea. Another part of me was thinking, I've got it on video. I can post it if I want to the, you know, the Huntington Beach Forum. Stupid. I, I mean, I'm not that guy either. So, or and then the th there, there, there actually was a third voice in me that was saying, catch this just in case something happens. You've got a video of it, right? So, because I mean, literally they were coming like, cars were coming the other way and there's this thing that they do where they're kind of getting close to the yellow line. It's scary as heck because it could be a head-on collision and they lose. Anyway, I was doing that and I hadn't been doing it for more than five seconds and I'm going down the road falling behind when one of the boys in turn and noticed what I was doing and reported it to the others. And they descended upon me. We had made a left turn and I put the phone away at the cradle. I got uncomfortable, as I should have. And uh, they got they started talking at me through the, through the, and I rolled the window down. And one of the boys came rolling up to me and, and, and he said, why are you filming? Why are you filming us? Because I had the window down. He was roll, rolling along right next to me. Good question. I didn't have a good answer. And he then decided at that point to disengage and he pulled off and his friends had stopped. I think I, I think I intimidated, I think I intimidated the, the bunch when they realized that they were being filmed by a, an old guy in a, in a, in a black Prius. Um, probably because rumors are getting out that the cops are cracking down and, uh, uh, cause I know that, I know that this is happening. I see it often. I see the police pulling these kids over, giving them a lecture and the police are taking their bikes and giving, issuing $400 citations. Um, so I think that the four, the, the other, or the other, the rest of the group got the idea and they pulled over like, oh shit, excuse me, <laughs> this guy's filming us. What's going to happen? Right. And the one more brazen boy came up to confront me. I think in hindsight that he had a different angle. His angle wasn't, why are you filming us for, you know, what are you going to do with that? His angle was, you know, why are you filming us without permission? That, angle, that came up later. Anyway, they he peeled off and went back to his group and I came up and I went to a stop a stoplight and I sat there and I was, I was flustered too because he, I'd been, I'd been put to the tip to the task of explaining myself and I didn't have a good answer. Thank goodness we didn't have to talk any further. I probably would have said something stupid. And I thought about it for the remaining drive to the beach and I realized that I had got ambushed. I had got ahead of myself. I had acted without thinking and, as I, and had done something that I wouldn't do that was stupid. I shouldn't be filming while I'm driving. I, I, I shouldn't have been filming even if I was the passenger. I shouldn't have been doing that. It just, it, just because I'm not that guy, I don't want to be that guy. Um, I still that little voice inside me says, but it's good that you're catching it in case something happens. Yeah, but yeah. I'm still, I still have a few mixed motions up on this, but <clears throat> so I'll use this to try to train myself towards a greater and more greater level, a higher level of maturity and where I can be better in better control of my immediate actions train myself to, in such a moment again, to exercise a little more consideration of what the right path forward would be to ask myself and challenge myself regarding my motivations and to try to find the path forward and make a better choice. That was a lot to talk about. <laughs>